hello 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 welcome back to another video my name is dazlin and today i'm going to be showing you guys 10 easy lazy hairstyles in less than 10 minutes for curly hair if you haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another video now let's figure out what to do with this hot mess So for this first hairstyle, I am going to wet my hair a little bit so it's easier to manage. And then I'm going to go in by sectioning off both sides of my hair. I want to make sure I have a good amount of hair tying it up in the front, but also tying it in the back so it just doesn't get in the way when I'm trying to style. For this hairstyle, I do need to use more water than usual. I'm on day three and my hair is really frizzy and unwashed, so I'm just gonna brush up all those baby hairs and make it look as sleek as possible. Then I'm just gonna use a regular hair tie and tie the top and make sure it is nice and tight and secure. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and undo the bottom and make sure all the curls aren't clumped together. This side was a little uneven, so I'm gonna take a piece of the hair and just wrap it around the hair tie. I usually do this to give the top half a little bit more volume and to make it look a little nicer. It does cover up the hair tie, so it gives it more of a oomph. <laughs> Then I'm just gonna take my baby hair toothbrush and make sure that all of my edges and all of my baby hairs are combed and brushed down. So for the second hairstyle, I'm gonna start by flipping my hair. And this is an easy side ponytail. My hair is really thick, so I only put it through once. But if you have to, you can do it twice. I just don't like my hair to dent. So next I'm gonna take my silk headband. I love these because they don't leave marks. They don't stretch my hair out, but you can use any hair accessory that you would like. And I'm just gonna style this look up a little bit. It also makes it look a little bit more presentable. Now this next style is an OG. If you're a fan of the classic high bun, let me know by hitting that like button. This is my go-to hairstyle. Whenever I do this bun, I make sure I pull the ponytail from the back. That way my curls are sitting in front of my head. I use a second hair tie just to secure the bun. And now I can play around with the curls, pull them down, tuck them in to make the bun look how I want it to look. Just need a little water, comb up your hair, and call it a day. This is an everyday look. If you want to take your bun to another level, you can definitely use a hairband or a hair accessory. But either way, you can never go wrong with a messy, curly, high bun. So for this next hairstyle, I'm going to be sectioning my hair into two pieces. This is going to be an extended ponytail. So I'm just going to take the top half and tie it up into a bun. And then with the second half, I'm going to make sure it's almost in the middle of the back of my head so the two pieces blend in. Because I have a lot of shrinkage, I like to do this type of ponytail just to make my hair look a little bit longer in the back, pull out two pieces in the front to make it look cute. And then I'm just going to tie off that second half as close as possible to the first ponytail so they blend in together. Then I'm just going to take some water and spray my hair because it is a little frizzy. I just need to bring these curls back to life. I like to finger coil so it helps train the curls and it also makes them look more spirally as well. And then I'm just going to take my toothbrush brush down my frizz and there's your extended ponytail so my fifth hairstyle is a continuation of the fourth one I'm just gonna take that two 
part ponytail, grab onto the ends of the top half and put it into a bun with the second half. I'm gonna secure that bun with another hair tie and then I'm gonna go back in and just puff up the top half just so it doesn't look so flat, give it a little bit more volume and tuck in any stragglers. I also use bobby pins sometimes just to give the top half of my head a little bit more dimension. My sixth hairstyle is simply a half a pack down, so I'm going to pull out that bottom ponytail, separate any clumps of curls, and you're good to go. This style is super versatile, even adding these two cute little curls in the front can really make the look if you're in a rush or you just want to switch it up. For hairstyle number seven, I'm simply going to take the top half and wrap it around the hair tie. I'm only going to use one hair tie to secure this bun, but if you need to, you can use more. And then I'm going to grab a bobby pin and just secure the bun. This is a super easy, quick look. This is another variation if you want to change it up, and it's also super, super cute. For hairstyle number eight, I am going to be sectioning off my hair into two pieces. You want to make sure that the line on each side is as straight as possible. So if you need to, you can go ahead and grab a hair brush or a comb to make sure you get enough hair on each side. So then what I'm gonna do is then I'm gonna take all of my hair and tie it up into the front. And then I'm gonna go ahead and tie the hair into the back. But you wanna make sure that you do it in the middle of your head. Then I'm gonna separate this into two pieces. You can do it wherever you like your part, if you like it on the side or in the middle. Now for this, you will need water and if you use gel, you can use some gel for this as well, but I'm just going to go ahead and brush and slick down all my hair on the side. Then I'm going to grab it as tightly as possible from the top and twist it all the way down. You want to twist it so much that it twists on its own in order to keep its form when you clip it. Then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. So. This is a good way to make sure that the twist doesn't fall out when you're doing it on the other side. That's why you want them super tight. When you unravel them, you're gonna go ahead and tie them both in the back. I usually tie it about two to three times, but you wanna make sure it's super tight. That way the twists don't unravel throughout the day. Then you're gonna go ahead and drop that ponytail and now you have a cute to go look. If your hair was acting a little crazy in the front, but it was fine in the back, this is the perfect look to still leave your hair down. So for this next hairstyle, you're just gonna go ahead and section off two pieces behind your twists and make sure that the rest of the hair is facing down. Then you're gonna go ahead and take your hair tie and tie it as close as possible to the top of your head and then you're just gonna fluff the curls out. This is another super cute variation of the half up half down. Now the last hairstyle, you're simply going to take all of the hair that you have in the back of your head, wet it a little bit, brush it a little bit, make sure everything's slicked down, and then you're going to tie it into a bun. So I put it through twice and then leave some of the curls hanging out at the end. I take another hair tie just to secure that bun and then you're all set. I would really love to know what all of your favorite go-to hairstyles are. Let me know in the comments below. I put a lot of time and energy into bringing you guys the best content possible. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and support your girl and I'll see you guys soon.